for special occasions. And white was also worn by all citizens when a Roman general victoriously returned. The soldiers were, of course, dressed in their uh, decorated military garb. But as soldiers come back, everybody's dressed in white because they were victorious. That's the picture that we have here in Revelation about Jesus and his people. He's going to dress us in white if we're part of that remnant that is saved by grace. And then the book of life. All Greek and Roman cities in the first century kept a list of citizens according to their class or tribe. So we do something similar here. We have uh, a census. But they had a book and they kept the names in the book. The names of new citizens were added to the book and the names of degraded citizens were expunged. So if you were a traitor, for example, your name would be erased out of that book. That's, I think, what John has in mind when he's talking about the book of life. Our names have been written in the book of life. And he has good news for us. They'll never be erased. Isn't that great? Our names are in the book of life. They'll never be erased. He said, I will not blot you out. And confess his name. Everyone, therefore, who who shall confess me before men, Jesus said, I will also confess him before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever shall deny me before men, I will also deny him before my Father who is in heaven. So we confess his name and Jesus confesses us. So uh, as we come to the last slide today, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He's going to confess our names if we confess his name. I'd like to give you an opportunity to confess the name of Jesus by just simply saying, I believe. And we're going to do that in the way of a song. It's all about believing. I believe is, is, is your way, I believe today, to say I confess the name of Christ and therefore I have confidence he will confess me before his father and before his angels.
we just claim this morning the call that was given to the church of Sardis, that we might wake up, that we might claim the gospel of Christ and go forward and shout it from the mountaintops. In your name I pray, amen.